Darren here from Deep Blue Apps and DeepBlueMarket.com. We've got an update to the uh, font custom font template, as requested by Damien. We can now take the position of the first actor we drag into the scene and jot its X and Y position down, and we can also use a global variable to change the spacing in between the fonts, and we can also change the uh, the alpha on and off depending if we have that score or not. I'm just going to say hide font is off. The spacer is set to 48, so every time we drag a new actor in now, we're just going to drag a few of these in. Let's just have five for now. They're going to take the position of this, the first actor you dragged in. So let's move that up to the top right there. They're going to go to the left of this actor. I'm going to press play. And you can see now, without you having to manually move them all into position, which can be a bit of a pain in the bum, they're now um, nicely in position already. Um, a little bit too close though, so we can go back into the game attributes, the spacer 48. Let's try setting that at 60, pressing play. Oh, that's a lot better, I like that. We'll have them 60 uh, apart. Now, We'll go into the uh, test score. 100 is a little bit too much. We don't want to add 100 to the score every time. We'll just add 1 to the score. And the reason I'm just adding 1 is I'm going to show you another feature. We've got a Boolean here at the bottom. Hide font 1. Now if we tick that, check that. You need to get 10 or more before this actor shows. You need to get 100 or more before this actor shows. 1000 or more before this actor shows. And so on and so on. And we'll just test that by going in. You see we've got nothing shown at the moment because we haven't scored anything. And oh, we've got 8, 11. And you can see this working really nice. So once we get 100 or more, it'll show the third font. And there you go. That's rather nice. I quite like seeing the zeros though, so I'm going to turn that back. And there you go. And you can also add, add another one. And as you can see, you don't have to be too precise. Um, wherever you move the first actor, the others will follow. So if you decide, mm, I don't want my font on the right, I want my font on the left, instead of like having to move all of them over, you know, it's going to take you a while. Just move that one and press play, and there you go. A lot, lot better. And uh, again, thanks for. Uh, Thanks to Damien for pointing that out, and I hope you enjoy this new version. Cheers for now, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.